I drank too much special drink last night, and now I don't feel that well. Special drink? <laughs> Welcome to Vinyl Reckoning. My name is Matt. I'm Stacy. <laughs> Welcome to Vinyl Reckoning. My name is Matt. I'm Stacy. Vinyl Tag 2023. Mm-hmm. Not 22. 2023 is something I quite literally just learned about and then told you about. Mm-hmm. So effectively, it was a kind of list of 20 questions that some person that I didn't research came up with for the year. Um, some referring back to 2022, album of the year, things like that. And then uh, the whole vinyl community is into it. Uh, I'm not new to the collecting of the vinyl community, but I'm new to the YouTube vinyl community, so I didn't know this was a thing. Did you? No. No. But we saw a concert buddy do it, I think, maybe. And if not, it was Northern Revolution. I more so saw stuff like this on Instagram, where it was like, it would be like over the course of 30 days. So it would be 30 things. And you would post like one and it would be themed like yeah it was completely different but i see what you're saying yeah so it's more like the challenges than anything else okay right, right, right. oh i was thinking you know something. I mean? yeah i know we're good right uh yeah i just i was thinking of something completely different so we're not gonna ramble too much more Liar! we'll get started again list of 20 questions vinyl related and uh you're gonna learn a little bit more about us and our collection in this so let's start with record of the year. Now this is 2022 because we're at the very beginning of 2023. So favorite record of 2022. Uh, if you go back and watch our, you know, best releases, the last video we did, uh, you're gonna see this in there. But I had to narrow it down to one: Otherness by Alexis on Fire. Mm-hmm. I think this is just an overall great record, a great progression, considering they hadn't released an album since I think 2000. Nine or twelve? I can't remember. I don't even know. My but mind yeah, just no. exploded trying to like remember what you. Yeah, were. but wonderful album, album of 2022 for sure. What do you got? Cool. My um, it was hard because there were a few. I listened the, to this so much, and I feel like it's just Harry's house. It's a great just record. So freaking good. So I feel like it was. One, it'll, it's gonna be one of my favorites for a long time. For sure. Not only of 2022, so. It so. will live uh, yeah. live on. I'm reading this off my phone, so if you see us looking down a lot, that's why, because again, we could have had like a monitor in front of us, and but, but we didn't. Next one is last artist you saw live. Which, it's funny, but our answers were because it was... They were together. Yeah. <laughs> they toured together. And this actually kind of works Obviously, out. Obviously, our last show we went to, we went yeah. to together. Duh. But uh, Wilderness, great, yeah. great band. Really, yeah, like, weird good. and rock, Fun. but also trippy and groovy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would really recommend checking them out. Wilderness, <clears throat> um, absolutely wonderful record. Yeah. Pick this up at the show. For sure. I didn't pick this up at the show, but this is just one I have of theirs. <laughs> but uh, Copeland... Uh, we saw Copeland and Wilderness live together, obviously, and... I think in October of last year. It, yeah, October or November. Like it was recently, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in November. Okay. Right before we went out of town, we went and saw them. So, but yeah, uh, this is just one that I have of theirs. It's a great theirs. record. Yeah. We actually just watched that YouTube documentary on Yeah, them. it was so good. It was really good. History of the Band, I think, yeah. I forget the name of it, but just search Copeland documentary. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a pretty good watch. Moving on, because we on. we got a huge list here. Yeah, what was the next? Best debut album. Mm. This was tough for me, because I could have gone like classic, whether that be inside the genres we mostly cover outside, but I wanted to pick one that really like always stands out in my mind. Songs that always get stuck in my head. Uh, songs in, in bands that I wish were still like 100% active. They just released a new album last year, this year, I can't remember. Great Big Pile of Leaves. Have you seen my prefrontal cortex? Mm -hmm. This is the release that 
before Top Shelf bought the rights to, to press it. So I think this was on Sinking Ship Records. Absolutely phenomenal sounding record. Yeah. Dead silent. <clears throat> Just such a good group of bangers. And like vocally, his vocals are so haunting on this record, but it also jams. It's, it's a really weird mixture of like rock and indie and emo. And I would highly, I can't speak today, I would highly recommend it. Have you seen my prefrontal cortex? Buy a great big pile of leaves. Good one. Yeah. Good. My favorite, uh, what is it, debut album, right? Here <clears> comes a shocker. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Shush. Uh, obviously, Jaterna is one of my favorites. Who's that by? Circus Survive. Oh. This one's the transparent red marble, obviously. How many pressings do you have of that? How many variants, I should say? Two. No, no. I just, I think I just have one of this, and I also have the CD of this one. Right on. So best debut album, in your opinion? I would, uh, you know, for somebody who isn't super into Circa, I'll give it to her. It's pretty strong. That's a freaking good album. It's yeah. pretty strong. It's my favorite. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I got that tattooed on my arm. Next one is The Hat Trick. Okay, wait. And <clears throat> so The Hat Trick, that's why I have this one. In this yeah, one. that's right. why. So we're we're just digging. Um, so the hat Ooh. trick is some, uh, an album you have on vinyl, cassette, and CD. I've noticed a lot of uh, the the vinyl community YouTube is like, I don't mess with this cassettes. Or that. Yeah. But they have the CD in the record. Yeah. We're kind of the opposite. Yeah. I do collect cassettes. You have like one or two. Yeah. Um, because they were gifts and stuff. Right. But. This is just what I've noticed. We, me we we mess around with cassettes. We have a lot of fun collecting them. It's a I weird, like it's a weird format. Yeah, I'll no, give I like that. to look at in the record stores. Into it, over it, fifty-two weeks. I remember ordering this when it first dropped. Evan Weiss himself has said there'll never be another pressing in this format because it is a four LP set. It is wildly large, amazing to, you know, pull out, listen to. Mm -hmm. But basically the story is Evan Weiss, after he left his former band, started a solo project called Into It Over It. He set himself out with a task to write one song every week for an entire year and record it. And he did it. And it is a phenomenal release. If you check nothing else out by this man, Check out 52 Weeks. Here is the cassette. It is actually a dual cassette. So there's the first one. And there's the second one. Yeah, cassette. No CD though. <clears throat> I probably had the CD at one point when, yeah. I, when I saw him on the Glamour Kills That's tour. That's what we don't have, is it? We don't have the CDs. Yep. So I guess mine isn't much of a shocker because I have two copies of this. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, which is Phoebe Bridger's Punisher. And this one is the blue with kind of a swirly silver one. Blue with kind of a swirly silver one. Literally what it says. Yeah. <laughs> and then I obviously have the tape, which it's cool green. green color. It's a little, yeah. little greeny, greeny boy. I don't have a CD, obviously. That's okay. Yeah, we don't mess with CDs. I, I mean, we try I mean, to. I have like. All right, this next one is an album that starts and ends with the same letter. Now this is one that reminds me of those Instagram, you know. Yeah, like the vinyl challenges mm -hmm. for the month. Yeah, I used to do those so much. Me too. I have a ton of those. Also, this was a lot harder than it seemed because I'm really stupid. So I was like- You aren't stupid. I was just looking, I'm like, those two definitely end with the oh, same letter. And one was like an A and the other was a T. No, that was me that oh, did you that, did that too, so. but I did it first. <laughs> so after realizing I actually had a lot and it wasn't that hard I to know, do. I know, I told you. City Cop Seasons. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you could make heavy music with an acoustic guitar. This band, if you like, you're into like the hardcore type stuff or like, you know, the Law Disputes, Touche Amours of the world. This band is of that vein, in a sense. Uh, I forget what they call themselves now because they recently changed their name. Oh, wow. But uh, City Cop Seasons, I checked. It's it's S. It ends and starts with S. <laughs> Good job. City Cop Seasons. Good job. I did it. I know. I had a little tough time. I added one on there, and you were like, and I was like, you're right. Take yep. it off. I don't know yep. why I added that. But to, you know, surprise, this one's actually sealed. 
which is kind of cool, I guess. It is, shocker, shocker, once again, a Surface Survive. No. On Letting Go. Oh. Oh, so, <laughs> both it starts and ends with an O. It's a pink and black mixed vinyl. Love it. That's which amazing. Is, yeah, pretty neat. One day you'll sell me on this oh. band, one day. Mm-hmm. Maybe. It took me a sec. You know, I listened and listened and listened, and then one day I was just like, holy shit. I think it had a lot to do with me seeing them live a mm -hmm. lot, and just that uh, presence is kind of, has a lot to do with why I love them so much. For sure. An artist you share a birthday with. Not like a birthday, but. Not like a, the day, the year, the year. The same year, I apologize. Dum dum. Yeah. That would be really tough. That would be super tough. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't share a birthday with anybody cool. Yes, I do actually. And I could get their music on vinyl if I wanted to. Mm, that's fair. Yeah, so um, how about that? So I didn't want to do, as you know, we don't research anything. Uh, this is the most research I think we've done for a video. So we're killing it. You guys are doing good. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so I picked one that I knew because I grew up with the drummer of this band. I've you know, we used to live in the neighborhoods next to each other. This band called Rick Rude, really good like indie, emo-y type stuff from the state of New Hampshire. I think I featured them in the, one of my uh, five records you need to know, or okay. you should go out and buy right now. I forget the title. It was an early video. It's embarrassing. Oh. But yeah, Rick Rude, Verb for Dreaming. Ryan Harrison, you're the best. You're a great drummer. Yeah, same age. And you make cool Good music. Job. Same year, not birthday. We Good don't have job. the same birthday. Being the same age. We did it. Yeah. We okay, did it. For mine, it was kind of a shocker. Because I was like checking everybody that, you know, I thought would be my age. And they were either way older or way younger. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, this isn't fair. But we found like the coolest one. We found the coolest one, you know? Because me and Andy frickin' Hull were born in 1986. Thank you very much. He was born in November. I was born in December. Ooh, very so close. Close. So you are he's... only a month younger than Andy Hull. Yep, yep, he's a month older than me. I mean, that means nothing. Millions of people That's share cool. the same year of birthday. Yeah. You know, nothing to get too excited about, but it's still pretty cool. It's still. It's I'm not, I'm not yucking your yums here. So, what did you say? Oh, yeah, this you know, is a pretty cool, like, Album though that I have of theirs. Yeah. I mean, everything to nothing. Yeah. Great. Anywho. Yeah. Great record. Good one. No, no complaints. It's a good one. The the album you listened the most to in 2022. Okay. I cannot stress that I think this album came out in 2021, and I've just yeah. since then I've been spinning it like by proxy. You know every word. Yeah. But uh, another friend's bands, who actually recently crashed on my living room floor a few months, mm -hmm. our living room floor a few months ago. It was a tight fit, but we did it. You, me, and everyone we know, something heavy. I am sure people want a description of this band, and I don't know how to describe them. It, it's like pop rock, but also like emo, but all, like you can't just listen to them. A little indie-ish, but Maybe. just a little hint of it. Maybe a like, little. A little, uh, little dip. Just a little dash. A little dip. Yeah. But yeah, you mean everyone sprinkle. we know. Something heavy. It's so good. Phenomenal. It's so good. Phenomenal record. Yeah. Brilliant songwriting. Brilliant musicianship. <laughs> you sounded like Woody Woodpecker there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you mean everyone we know. Something heavy. Check oh, it out. Wait, okay, so yeah, mine, I'm... I was just like going through. And I was like, you know, this. I've been listening to like a lot of like the new Paramore stuff, you know, yeah, which I'm, is great. Yeah, yeah. But then like, I was also just, I think I spun this more this year, last year than anything yeah, else, yeah. I wanna say. This past year, we yeah. could say, yeah. Yeah, Mariah Carey. Like this, this is just the number ones, you know. Got Obviously. all the jammy jams. Yeah, all the jammy jams. If you know and us, you know we love we those love hits. love the hits. So I was just, I've just been jamming a lot, ton to like Mariah Carey. Yeah. And I've been like making you, dragging you along with it, me, so. I'm, I'm down for the ride. I have the hiccups. Next one is Artist of the Year. <clears throat> there is so many reasons I chose this person. 
Um, but I'm just gonna quickly throw it up. Mm -hmm. Evan Weiss is my artist of the year. All of his active projects, I believe, released at least one thing in 2022, whether that's a full length EP split. The man doesn't stop working on top of having a nine to five, nine to five, if you will. Right. That, his music is phenomenal. Brilliant songwriter, surrounds himself with wonderful musicians. And not only that, he has Storm Chasers Limited, which is the crowdfunded via Patreon record label. Um, I do the monthly sub, and I've been doing it since its inception, so it was like the beginning of the, the big C. Right. And I, I've never missed a month because even if it's not an Evan Weiss project, the stuff he's putting out is stuff that I want to hear. It caters right. to me and any fans of, of that Storm Chasers family. But yeah, Into It, Over It, uh, slash Evan Weiss is my artist of the year. This is just a live album, for live from the Red Room. Mm -hmm. uh, go join the Patreon, again, Storm Chasers. It is a phenomenal community, and shout out to all of them in the Discord as well, because they're all awesome people. Okay. Um, what is this? So, best artist of 2022. Yes. Look at me like I was gonna forget. <laughs> See how mean he is, y'all? Um, Anthony Green, you know. He's a hardworking man. There's a lot of shit going on right now. You know, Circa's on a permanent hiatus. They broke up. You can say it. Stop. No, I'm not saying it. Okay. But, so like, you know, I don't know. He kind of, he's been, he started, he did, came out with this album. He came out with that Ellis Dunes. He mm -hmm. came out with the, you know, he's, just doing a bunch of shit, that's great. He's killing it. Yeah. Show an Australian artist or group. Next question. No, okay, wait, uh, let's, honorable mention, ACDC is from their jets, from their- Is ACDC really from they're Australia? They're from Australia, Google it, cause I did. I don't, mm, so I, I don't know. I was just curious, the band Jet. Best find of 2022. Best so this is like find. crate digging, not going on to Discogs, yeah. not like buying it on in eBay. The in the wild. Going it's to the record like stores, that. which we do so much. Mm -hmm. We do it all the time. We do it every day. It's not fun. every day. No. <laughs> but my finds of 2022, it's not like a thousand dollar record or anything like that, but it is something I've been searching for for years and this specific variant. They got like weird special editions that are released in the US, but this is a Germany pressing of I Hate God's Dope Sick. If you like heavy blues driven sludge from New Orleans, you will absolutely love I Hate God. I cannot stress how good this band is. It's pretty good. Check them out. Yep. Do a thing. Yep, do a thing. Do, do a thing. Do yourself a thing. Yeah. Check out I Hate God. Whoa. Dope Sick. That was so close. We're killing it. We're killing it. Was it. Like it's fine. Wow. Look at us. We're professional YouTubers. Yeah. All right, my turn for my, like, so digging, digging, digging. Then we're like, holy cow. Mm -hmm. You know? And, it, and we've told the story about it before. Well, we've told the story because we, both of our finds in 2022 came from... Sorry State. Sorry State Records. Sorry State. Mm -mm -mm. Good dudes, good dudes. Man, good selection. They got some good stuff. Oh yeah. So I'm like digging through their little like holy shit bin, you know, or mm -hmm. whatever, and this pops up. Room noises. <laughs> you did the noise. No. Room noises pops up and um, I was like, I don't care how much it is, I need to have it. So I fought them and I won. And you didn't fight I them. Paid nothing. No, I'm kidding. You didn't. No, <laughs> she didn't. No, fight them. I. They were just I a little fight. cheaper on Discogs. Their Discogs. I'm kidding. So they told the story. How about you go look at that our sorry state video and you see what I got when I figure out how to for. when I figure out how to put a link like that pops like up those thing, annoying things you, everybody like hates. Or yeah. it'll probably be like on the side, or you can press like subscribe down there and then. And then you can press all these other buttons. I think she's and then be like, all the oh, that one says sorry state. And then they like click on that and you go boop. And then you watch how I Just keep going. made that cool bargain with the Isley room noise. <laughs> all right. Cut all that out. No. An artist you own the complete discography for. I want to say my choice was I own everything that has ever been released on vinyl, at least one variant and 
multiple pressings though. I'm not a variant collector, I am a pressing collector though, because you don't know, you know, what they do. So everything that is released on vinyl by this band, I own at least one okay. copy of. <clears throat> and that is Newfound Glory. This is my original pressing, first pressing of Nothing Gold Can Stay with the clips from like The Outsiders and stuff like that still on it. it it's a great record, but it, let's get serious. It sounds like it was recorded in a tin can. Uh, but yeah, Newfound Glory, and we'll cut in some footage of the entire discography. B-roll. Here. Newfound Glory. Okay. Nothing gold can stay, but I own cool. the t entire discography. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll have. I have um, recently gotten the full discography thanks to you, Isley. I now have the full Isley discography. It was hard because I also have the full Circa discography, so it was like, which ones do I want to show? Yeah, so you, I'm most proud right now of your Isley of discography. My Isley discography wings. Next up is a band that put out three great albums in a row. Ooh, a band that put out, yep, three great albums in a row. This one's good. I like, it. this one was fun. So we're gonna start with I don't the first one in the three. You could take any of these bands three, like mm -hmm. albums in a row, and they would be bangers. Right. In my opinion, starting with the one I'm about to show you, but anything in the, from their catalog, you can just pick the three in a row and they're gonna be bangers. Every Time I Die, uh, hot Damn, Gutter Phenomenon, and The Big Dirty. Those, while they just got better as they progressed in their career, those are the three that, you know, kind of got me into the band. So I'm just gonna say three bangers in a row every time I die. Yeah, mine, which I don't have over here for some reason. Copeland, obviously Copeland is one of my super faves. Super favorite band. Their first three albums. So Beneath the Medicine Tree. Beneath the Medicine Tree, In, In Motion. Motion, and You Know My Sunshine. Nope. Eat, no, sleep, it was repeat. Easily Repeat. That's yep. right. Yep. Which I have the other one too. So another one. I have a full this one here. Oh, no. Copeland. Oh, 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 oh my god. What's the next one? Uh 80s soundtrack. Okay, yeah. Singer. So, yeah. Got this at Gravity Records last summer mm -hmm. on our visit. Another video we got, go watch our Gravity Records yeah. video. Stand By Me, one of my favorite soundtracks. I'd say top 10 favorite movies. Great soundtrack, super fun to listen to, mm -hmm. great movie to watch. Great. Jack Bauer at his finest. Sorry, Kiefer Sutherland. Uh, but you know, Jack this is alias. That's his name, I mean, <sighs> forever. So yeah, Stand By Me. He's forever President Jack Bauer. Uh, original soundtrack. Um, so mine, uh, we were kind of shocked to see that it came out in 82. Mm -hmm. It's Annie. That specific version of Annie. Yeah, this, you know, where it it's has- 82 or 84? 82, I mean, it has Tim Curry in it and Carol Burnett okay. in it, you know, so that makes sense, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, either, but um, yeah, so it's Annie, one of my favorite soundtracks ever. <laughs> And obviously I had to own it. Next up is a grail. Your grail, you have to pull back out. I see. Yep, so I'm gonna let you do that and then I'm gonna show off mine. Mm -hmm. This is a grail for a lot of people. Uh, I've had this record for years. I think I bought it when it was like on sale for like 12 bucks. I forget what website, it's a distro website was selling it. I Am The Avalanche's first uh, release. I believe this is self-titled. Pretty sure it's self-titled. I Am The Avalanche. Absolutely great record. It's, you know, if anybody was fans of the movie life and stopped following the movie life or whatever, uh, I Am The Avalanche was born from their ashes. F just an absolutely great record. They've released nothing but bangers since, in my opinion. But this is the one I fell in love with. This is the one I own. This is the grail. People spend hundreds of dollars on this record. I will never sell it, so please do not ask. Just don't. Just don't. Stop it. That's my grail. Okay, my grail. Dixie Chicks. Yeah. That one with that song. Kind of rips. Yeah, not gonna it's lie so to good. You. Yeah, it's such a good album. I was, I've, yeah, I had been looking for some Dixie Chicks for a minute. Mm-hmm. So it was great. Uh, an artist we lost in 2022. Uh, I know we lost Taylor Hawkins, 
which is just a tragedy. Uh, I, I don't like the Foo Fighters that much. Oh yeah. And that was like really the closest thing. I knew there thing. was like some, yeah, I don't yeah. have any of their stuff. Like, um, but yeah, I couldn't think of for a minute. Yeah, but I we, was like, I know there was someone. But yeah, but, yeah Taylor Hawkins, you know, sure, rest in peace. Sad. But you know, I don't like Foo Fighters that much. Yeah, we weren't like super. Sorry, they're fine, they're great. Dave Grohl's sure. a goddamn genius. Yeah, but, they're great musicians. But it's just, it's it doesn't really type. do it for me. That's all right. That's okay. Disappointing mm -hmm. purchases. Oh yeah. I have to go back into my collection too. Ooh, I keep yawning. Are you not entertained? But okay, I know what mine is. Oh, you gotta find I mean, mine. They're not like. It's right here. Okay. Okay, I just kind of okay. gushed over this band, Wilderness. Yeah. Uh, it's truly, though. truly a great band. Yeah. Amazing. This record sounds like garbage. It is not a good pressing. Not a good pressing. Though. It like. I don't know how to describe it. It's far too compressed. It's clearly barely a CD audio quality uh, <laughs> record. I'm not going to get rid of it because it was a good show. Yeah. And, you know, it's nice to own mm -hmm. a piece of the band. But, yeah, it's my disappointing purchase. It doesn't sound good. It was a waste of like 22 bucks or whatever it was. Yeah. Simply just because I'll probably never spend this, but it's a nice little thing to have. Yeah. Um, mine. Not necessarily disappointing purchases. One was a gift, I believe, mm -hmm. you know, and then uh, I'm just disappointed all together, you guys. That's all. Are you gonna explain why? It's because it's not the music on that, because we both dig that. Yeah, they're both good, they're really good. Yeah. Yeah, because of their stupid hiatus. Mm -hmm. And I get it, whatever, do your yeah. thing. Yeah. Some Sometimes you just, Sometimes you just don't want to do it anymore. So our next one, we had uh, trouble, or at least I thought we you were going trouble, to. Because I, I was like, like, I don't own one of these. And I'm like, yeah, we do. Want to show them at the same time? Yeah, one, two, two. three. A space-themed record, and it is, you know, this is blasphemous, but she gave it to me, so it doesn't count. It is a Newberry Comics exclusive, uh, but Cowboy Beep Boop uh, in I Love Jazz, <laughs> and I absolutely love this soundtrack. Right. It Mine's is. the Ayn edition because, hello, I freaking love Ayn. So, yep. yeah, it's really cool jazz. Yep. You know, Cowboy Bebop. It's super space related. Super space related. I mean, related. I wonder what else other people would say for that. Like, who else? A space themed. Oh, there are plenty yeah. of space themed records. Like what? I mean, arguably, I could have pulled out the moon score. So it has, if it says something like that space in the name, and that's good enough? I don't know, you're, you're, I'm you're, just, you're just curious. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments what your space themed record is. Next one is heavy. Not like heavy in the, you know, heavy man, but just you know, like, like in the weight? Just, yeah. <laughs> it weighs a lot, you guys. Yeah, my shadow weighs a ton. Anyways, <laughs> uh, this one is a non-vinyl themed purchase like in my eyes I took that as not a record something I bought in 2022 that I was stoked on I got this at the very beginning of 2022 because it was on sale um, but Dustin Grooves the adventures of record collecting uh, phenomenal quips from a bunch of people on collecting and how much it rules and like what music does for them again I got this on sale it is an absolutely amazing read it's fun to just like flip through and read like quest loves take mm -hmm. on things and uh, if you can pick this up at a good price, pick it up. It's yeah. a cool little book. Nice little, I wouldn't call it a coffee table book because it's huge. Coffee table books could be big. That's fine. I always thought That's it was. That's what they are. I thought there was like a criteria. Nope. Never mind. Okay. Noted. Nope. Nope. We can make it our coffee table book if you like. <laughs> Guys, we got a new coffee table book. Come on back. Yeah. Come see our book. Your non. Oh, yeah. My non. What is it? Non vinyl. Purchase. Purchase this cute little frickin' mug from Nice Price. Nice, no? 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 Yeah? Gravity. Gravity? Yeah. I thought they, I think they have the same person that makes these kinds Maybe. Of things there too. But I'm just wanting to show. It's adorable. The cute little plant. So, of course, I'm not gonna use it. Yeah. I keep it up there for like decoration. But um, I one time I came across their Instagram, mm -hmm. um, the person that makes these. And they have a bunch of really cute ones. Yeah. And mine's still my favorite. So, yeah. Last but not least, 
a record you received as a gift. Yeah. I got this from you for Christmas, and I got yeah. you a gift for Christmas, but... We but always do that, though. We That's always great. do that. We always get each other some sort of record or every the Christmas. the same thing, yeah. yeah. I've been looking for this Tsunami Split at a halfway decent price for, I don't know, about a year now. If you're into hardcore, if you're into punk, or anything like that, this band should be way bigger than they actually are in the scene. Um, not that they aren't, but they should be huge. Uh, Tsunami, I think it's a split, but it's like a bunch of their EPs. I could be wrong. All I know is that it's heavy. I love it. Um, and thank you for this gift. It's a really cool variant. Uh, you're, you're amazing. But yeah, this is a record I got. One of the many I got as a, as a gift this year, I'm sure. I'm sure you bought me other things because you're sweet mm -hmm. and you know what I like. Right. Mine, well, likewise, because mine is a freaking split that you bought me between Isley and Merriment. Like, how freaking cute is that? Okay. And it's numbered. It's 395 out of 500. This is a tough find. So, and yeah. just pain in the ass. You actually technically have two copies because, again, <sighs> big dum dum. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. Vinyl Tag 2023. Uh, I'd love for anybody who wants to, even if you don't make YouTube videos, throw it up on YouTube if you found some cool stuff this year yeah. uh, in the in the vinyl community. Put it in the comments. Uh, tell us what you loved. Tell us what you hated. Tell us that you think our music taste sucks. It's fine. We probably agree or with that you. that it's immaculate. Oh, that it's great. But we probably agree with you that it sucks. For Vinyl Reckoning, my name is Matt. I'm Stacy. Y'all be easy. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.